Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about analysis in the DOOS. The Analyze tab offers a number of chart sets based on the various aspects of the project. These sets are organized in titles, and when I click the plus button, I can see different kinds of analysis and visualizations. The first thing that appears on screen is the codes by the scripter, which I can see under the mixed methods chart. This to interpret data based on demographics or descriptors. As for example, if I want to see the distribution of data based on age, I know that I have 75% prefer the blended type of learning as a future choice. And students between 20 and 22 years old talked about being overloaded when learning online. So as being tired, and as for time management, I can see that students between 17 and 19 years old had difficulties in managing their time online. I will choose another field as for example, years of post-secondary schooling. I can see that students in their first year of post-secondary schooling experienced lack of communication during online learning with a percentage of 66.7%. Also that students in their second year and third year experienced network problems and feel overloaded. Another type of display that I want to show you is the packed code cloud. This shows the distribution of words that appear more frequently in the data. I can see, for example, availability, overload, lack of communication. The more applied the code has been, the larger the text of that code is in the cloud. The code co-occurrence it gives us a display of how often codes are applied together in the same document. And this will allow us to uh, view patterns. As for example, I can see from the disk like that the reasons for network problem and overload are more than the other reasons like lack of communication and being tired and waiting time. I can see also that uh, things that students like more is the availability of resources during online learning. And also I can see that comfort comes uh, next when they're talking about liking the online learning experience. The total of codes lets me know that the online learning like and dislike were the most coded and that I have six times when uh, students were talking about availability. As you can see also that frequency is mapped to the color spectrum and that the color red is being the most frequent and blues the less frequent. When clicking the cell in the table as for example for comfort I can view the underlying content for further consideration. As for example here, when they talk about comfort, they talk about waking up and saving time. And also uh, it is relaxing and everything is from the comfort of my home. I can have a snack, etc. Code application will let me see the occurrence of codes by media. And as you can see that in media number three, the student talked more about like than other students. Another type of chart is the descriptors chart. I want to show you the descriptor ratios multi-chart. This 
will show representations based on demographics. As you can see, for example, that I have less number of students that use tablet and that students between 20 and 22 years old are slightly more than those between 17 and 19 years old. Also that I have 20% or one participant out of five that is in his first year of post-secondary schooling and that the use of mobile phone online is three out of five, which is 60%, etc. Instead of the pie chart, I can view the code by descriptor chart in a bar chart by clicking the icon. I can also maximize the screen or I can export the results by clicking the export icon and then click Save Excel. And OK. All charts can be exported and here the help button will give me further description about this kind of chart. As for example, pie or bar chart displaying the relative number of cases in each subgroup by descriptor variables. These are a few examples of data representation using the DOOS. You can also try to explore the other types of charts within the chart selector panel. Hope that this was useful. Thank you for watching.